Gratitude, of course, is the theme of the Thanksgiving holiday, and tonight a local family has plenty of it. Our Sunrise anchor, Ben Hill, locally visited with a family that has faced loss and setbacks and yet is celebrating the blessing of a medical staff that's supporting them all along the way. He was flashing, enjoying the jungle's great joys. That big, booming voice is from a 15-year-old. He's not your average teen from his stature, presence, and passion for life. What you can't see is that he's battling an ongoing health issue. Sir Jonathan Thompson has severe asthma. He's never let that define him despite his diagnosis as an infant. He's named after his father, Jonathan, and it was his dad's decision to don him Sir. His mother remembers the meaning. Then we're going to use his name as to speak our faith, you know, and to tell people about the love of Christ. So that's what it was. Faith defines the Thompson family. They've needed it. Jonathan, the husband, father, and leader, was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. It was sudden and devastating. He was given six months to live. Sir Jonathan was just nine at the time, but wanted to fill his father's shoes and lead the family. At that point, he was teaching me how to lean on what we have always taught him, our faith. Jonathan lived five more years. During his cancer fight, he still made it to every one of Sir Jonathan's doctor's appointments at Riley Hospital. My dad still woke up, and he's a morning person. My dad, we were still up at 6 a.m. to get here by 8. It was just a few days into Sir Jonathan's freshman year when he got the news. I've been through a lot with my dad. Um, we've all been through a lot with him. And just, you can never prepare for something that traumatizing to happen. The father and son shared a passion for music and musical theater. If I stand on my own, so be it. A lot of people would think it's so difficult to perform on stage, dancing, singing. Yeah. You need a lot of lung power and oxygen. Yeah. How do you do that with your asthmatic challenges? Um, it's difficult. Um, you just kind of have to learn to sing a little differently than everyone else. Because Sir Jonathan gets asthma attacks at random. It feels like the walls are like kind of just closing in. Like an attack a few years ago on race weekend, the inhaler and nebulizer weren't enough. This race for Sir Jonathan's mom, Janelle, was to save her son's life. I literally get in my car with Sir Jonathan. Oh, Jesus. I put my blinkers on, and I'm doing 100, 110. I was like, well, it's race to get him to Riley. I said, well, it's race weekend. Let's move. <laughs> so... <laughs> They've since added an action plan and called 911 first, but it was motherly instinct at the time. Riley saved Sir Jonathan, and while he loves musical theater, Horns in the elephant heard a small noise. His dream is to become a doctor to help others and give back. Ben Hill, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Mm, I can imagine being that mama bear driving her son in to get care. Mm. If you would like to help support Riley, you can be a part of Be the Hope Now. We have a link with this story for you online at WTHR.com.